So for some time I have been promising that I would do a Geordie accent video and I've decided that after having to think about it, it's not um it's not that easy an accent to just sum up in one video. So I'm gonna do a series of videos because I think it's gonna make more sense and they're gonna be shorter because I do waffle on, as you can tell by the other videos. So this um accent video I've decided uh, that it's going to be dialect so we're going to discuss different Geordie words that you can use and you can just throw into a sentence um, to make yourself sound like a bona fide Geordie. Also for the purpose purpose of this video I'm going to not I'm not going to really be bothered about trying to be understood it as such um, I'm just going to speak in my own accent I don't actually live in Newcastle anymore I was born in a place called Benton in Newcastle, um, where where I grew up. So those that know Newcastle, it's pretty city centre. It's a pretty standard Geordie accent that I have. It's possibly a little bit watered down now because I've lived away from home for quite a while. I lived in London for six years um, and now live in, in the Midlands in Coventry. So it is probably a little bit watered down. However, when I go home, I get to relax into my accent and just speak properly. So this is a Geordie accent for those that are in America or, or further afield outside the country. Uh, Newcastle, you've got, I guess, Cheryl Cole, you'll know over there. Um, Ant and Deck, perhaps. Sting, who you might not know is a Geordie because he's a bit of a posh Geordie these days um, uh, we have Newcastle United football team and and we'll I'll do a video on a bit of sort of Geordie culture as well but this is dialect so Geordie dialect there's the obvious things that um, people say but sometimes the obvious things are just the ones that people say so uh, so why I man if you were to say why I man why I man means well yes you well yes you well why I man well, well, yes, basically it's in why I or uh, well I, we might say as well, is just well, yes. I is yes. So that's a nice one for you to use. We would say instead of all right, we would say Arit, you Arit, how are you doing, you Arit? How are you doing would be how you doing. How you doing? How you doing, you Arit? I. Oh, I'm not bad, I am canny. Canny. Canny is a proper Geordie word. Now, canny can be used in different ways. If you describe a person as being a canny person, oh, she's dead canny, last her. Oh, he's dead canny, I. He's dead canny means he's really nice, he's a really decent person. If to describe someone as canny is a really, it's a nice term to be described as it's flattering, it's, you know, decent, salt of the earth person, they're canny. You can also add canny onto a word to exaggerate that word. So you might say, oh, that's canny big, that is. Oh, aye, that's canny big. It does, now, this is not to be confused with, um, in Scottish, they say, I'm kind of very good Scottish, I can't do a Scottish accent, I'm not going to say it's not very good, it's just not good, it's shite. They'd say canny, as in, I cannot, canny. It's not the same word. People always confuse it and it's really annoying. Canny is C-A-N-N-Y. Canny. Scottish canne is like a shortened version of, two, of like, uh, cannot or, can, it's not the same word. So canny, if you were to say, uh, oh, she's a, can, she's a canny lass, you've got canny lass, or you could say, oh, it's canny big, that is, or it's canny good. Just kind of means really, then you would stick it in there. Um, old fashioned Geordie words, we've got things like hinny. Hinny is a term for a woman, so hinny, oh, you're right, hinny. It's just a nice term for a woman. It's a bit like honey, so nice, you're right, you're right, hinny, how are you doing? Um, pet, pet is still used frequently, so you're right, pet, you're right, pet. Just petal, pet, it's just a nice way. Generally used by older people, I think, rather than young people, but people still say it. Um, what else have we got? I'm just going to go down my list because I've got so many. Uh, out. would say out for anything. Out. So often you say, oh, out for an outer, like, out for an outer. Anything for, anything for nothing. Uh, um, I, we, instead of saying I don't know, I don't, I don't know, we would say I, I divina, I divina, would probably even make it more slang than that. Avna. Avna, Gina, because I'd have an R. 
Do you know? Because I don't know. Um, I like to use the sentence, uh, Anna, so I know, Anna, that yina, that you know, that vena, that wa alna. Anna, that yina, that dena, that wa alna. I know that you know, that they know, that we all know, is what that means. Uh, Geordie's say mint a lot. Oh, it's mint, that is. Oh, champion. Champion means good. That's top. It's champion. It's good. Uh, Mara. Mara. Mara is friend. It's not, that's quite an old fashioned word to use, but it's quite a nice Geordie word. It's a pretty specific Geordie word. If you're hungry, you say you're clamming. Oh, I'm clamming. I'm proper clamming. I'm starving. I'm clamming. Um, if you say I'm going home, we would say if we're being slang, we'd say I'm gan yem. Oh, I'm, I'm gan yem. I'm just going to gan yem. Gan in Geordie, ganning or gan is going or uh, gan. I'm 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 going. I'm going. I'm ganning. I'm gonna gan. I'm gonna gan. I'm gonna gan yem. I'm going to go home. Uh, we'd say mortal for getting drunk, which I'm sure those of you that watch Geordie Shaw would hear on there. Mortal, I'm mortal drunk. Just means I'm really, really drunk. 